temperature is 29 degrees. Mileage is 2796. Hope you guys can see my final polar bear challenge run of the season because today's the last day to do it. It's a Sunday, so I'm not going to school. Isn't that nice? Finally get to see a ride of, of, of mine where I don't go to school. I'm taking you to a little town called Fuquay Arena. It's a very strange name for a town. A lot of people are very indelicate about it. Calling it uh, Fuckway Vagina. But it's a cute little place. Kind of getting uh, a bit crowded nowadays. Well, that's part of my master plan. When I first moved here in 2006, five, five, not six, I, uh, I didn't tell you the story of how I moved here. That'll be my topic today. So here's my topic. You ready? 2005, I was in Hawaii, and my PhD was not going well. I basically had come to the end of my my classes so all I had to do now was basically do the dissertation and then I went to my department head and I asked her who could be my my chairman for my department and I, she said well one guy can't do it because he's still too new, and the other guy can't do it because he's going on leave for two years. I said, well, maybe the other department next door that's very similar to ours can have a chair. No, it has to be from our department. Really? So what do I do? And the lady says, transfer. So basically leave. Get out. When I first moved there, they enticed me with a, with a program that I thought would be good. And then, once I got there, because the place is so horrible, a lot of the people left and went to other schools. So... I was going to leave. I was going to move to Hawaii. I mean, move from Hawaii. Get the hell out of there. Sold my house. My wife and I at the time, we didn't know where to move to, so we were looking around at San Diego, maybe, maybe Portland, maybe. What was the other place? Uh, we're here. Huh. Went to Portland, that sucked, no, too much rain. Then I went to, uh, I went to look at San Diego, but nope. Too expensive. Went to Boston for a vacation for 4th of July. Spent three days in Boston and then flew to Raleigh by myself. My wife went to go look at the dogs back in Hawaii. She had to watch the dogs. And then I started looking for houses, and I had a video camera. I taped my my tours of 30 houses in three days. The first place I went was North Raleigh with a guy. He was this old, retired guy who was kind of out of it. He had two different color sneakers on. Nice guy, though, very Christian. 
So, uh, I knew he wasn't a schemer, I could just tell. But anyway, he shows me houses north of Raleigh, and they're all crowded together, crappy looking neighborhoods, crappy looking houses for the price that I wanted. I said, nah, 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 take me 30 minutes south of Raleigh. And he kind of looked at me like, really? Like, yeah. So he takes me to this rural area, in the middle of nowhere, basically. And I see this house, and oh my god, I loved it. It was on a steep hill, but it had a double deck, it had over half an acre of land, there was forest behind where nobody could build, it was perfect. But still, I went to other places to make sure, oh and I asked the lady across the street, I said, how long does it take you to get to Raleigh from here? About a half an hour. I said, all right, then I can trust this guy. Turns out that lady across the street was my neighbor. I ended up uh, going back to Hawaii and looking at the video with my, my wife, and we both agreed that that was the best house for the money. We got it for a steal. It was a repo. And so we moved from Hawaii to... North Carolina in July, end of July, I believe it was, or was it the end of August? I think it was the end of July, but anyway, maybe the end of August. It's right when Katrina hit, so whenever that was in 2005, I can't remember. So... We had to load our car onto the container that we, we rented. They pulled up this huge container in front of our house. My neighbor was a stevedore. He helped me tie the car down. He was awesome in Hawaii. Loaded all of our earthly possessions onto the container. Flew to uh, Raleigh. Signed the papers on the house. Moved in. And uh, in short order... The container showed up about two weeks later. It was pretty easy, actually. I mean, it was hard because we had to load the container and that was rough, but... We'd already done that once before on the way to Hawaii, so... We knew what we were doing this time. So now we are in... Fuquay Arena, not not the old town part, but this is the the strip mall section of the of the place. I got to do a stop, like I said. I'm going to. Uh, called Kroger. That's the name of the supermarket I frequent. We have Harris Teeter, Kroger, Food Lion, Lowe's, and uh, I don't know what else. Aldi. We got Aldi. Bojangles. That's not a supermarket, but a restaurant right there. Can't even see it because the camera can't show it to you. Because it's too small. It's too dang small. Alright, I'm yielding, I'm yielding, I'm yielding, I'm going. <laughs> Mileage is two eight one four.